I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. So Amazon's done it again. They've went and broke our hearts. Yep. They've moved the goal line once again and have changed the pay rate. As of February 2020, they've dropped the pay rate for filmmakers. Again. Now, any project with a CER of 49% or under automatically drops to one cent an hour. Amazon pays between one and 12 cents an hour. They base your rate of pay on CER, Customer Engagement Ranking. The Customer Engagement Ranking is a percentile ranking of a movie's level of engagement with Amazon Prime customers in relation to other titles that are published via Prime Video Direct. That's right, if you're at 49% or less, one cent an hour. Prior to that, if you had a CER between like 49 and 1%, there was a sliding scale. For example, if it was like 1 to 19%, you got like 1 cent an hour. If it was like 20 to 35, you got 2 cents an hour, and 36% to 49% was 3 cents an hour. Th those are estimates, but basically that's what the scale was. Now, anything with over a 50% CER looks like it's pretty much staying the same. And anyone who has a film up through Prime Video Direct knows how hard it is to keep a movie with a CER of over 50%. This rate reduction is a death blow to many indie filmmakers. To put it in perspective, let me share a few of my numbers. I have a project right now, don't call me Bigfoot, see it on Amazon, that is streaming over 2 million minutes a week. And while that might not be astronomically high, it's pretty damn good for DYI distribution. And that's around 33,000 hours a week. Maintaining its current rate in a month it'll do around 130,000 hours. This project was released in the last week of February, so it had one week to see what the CER was there, and it was 54% for that week. I'm a little scared. Let's say that it maintains a 54% for this month. That would mean it would be earning around four cents an hour, which would be around $5,000 for the month. Not too shabby. But for the sake of argument, let's just say that the CER slips by only 5% next month, which is not an unlikely scenario. Under the new guidelines, that same feature with the same hours would earn only one cent an hour and would now earn only $1,300 for the month. With only around a 5% drop in CER, the title went from around $5,000 a month to $1,000 a month for a 5% slip. Before this latest change, a movie with a 49% CER would have earned around three cents an hour, and for those same hours would have made around $3,900. The sliding scale that once was for movies under 50% is now completely gone. 50% is now the cutoff. It's like do or die. Out of the 20 projects that I've uploaded on Prime Video Direct, I have three or four that fall in the 20% to 49% range. My rate will now be cut by half or two thirds on all of those projects. It was tough enough before this to make any decent money. Now it's really starting to feel like Amazon is actively trying to dissuade filmmakers from uploading. And some people will say, well, movies with C are that low or probably shitty movies. Just make better movies. Well, to that, I say this, F you. There are some excellent indie movies on Amazon that would blow you away that have CERs of 40% or lower. And yes, we could get into how they're being marketed, maybe they're not being marketed well, or how the filmmakers maybe just didn't pick the right project at the right time, but let's keep on topic. So, of course, a lot of us indie filmmakers are mad. This is hitting us where it hurts. And with all the purging that's been going on over at Amazon the last few years, the overall curb has gotten much steeper. Perfectly good movies that had 78% CERs six months ago might be down around 40% today. And that's just because all the lower sub 20% titles of old have been purged. So the curve has gotten steeper. So yeah, we can sit here and be mad at Amazon, but here's the cold hard truth. Several years back, Amazon started Prime Video Direct, basically kicking off the biggest and best house party for independent DIY distribution that the world had ever seen, and it was f***ing rad. But then, a few too many of us kept showing up to the party with cases of Natty Light, and Amazon just got sick of cleaning up the puke. 
there's rumors going around that this is just another step towards Amazon migrating the Prime content to their new AVOD platform, IMDb TV. I say it's still a little too early to tell if this is really so or what effect it'll actually have on Prime Video Direct. So what do we do? We could stand up and complain about how unfair life is and how evil and greedy Amazon is. And yeah, I just did a little bit of that. Or we can take our business down the road. Not sure where. We could give up and go to law school. Or we can dust ourselves off and make more movies. Make better movies. Market them better. Find new places to distribute them. Maybe go back to working with more distributors. There are some good ones out there. Hello, Indie Rights. I've seen a lot of good projects over the last year with really bad CERs. But nine times out of 10, the project just isn't being marketed well. And that sucks. It sucks that in today's day and age, being a good filmmaker is not enough. But that is the world we're living in. In order to survive anymore, we can't just make good material and leave it there. We have to make stuff that scores harder with our intended audiences. Then we have to work on not just marketing the movie, but marketing ourselves. Just like everyone else, this rate drop has hurt me too. But I refuse to let it cripple me. I refuse to let it stop me. I make movies. If it was easy to make a living doing it, everyone would. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to stop complaining for the most part. I'm going to take what I've learned from my projects that fall under that 50% mark, and I'm going to address those issues on future projects. I'm going to look for new opportunities to distribute my films, and I'm going to look for alternate income streams when it comes to my films. And if all that fails, I'll try again and again. And once again, till all of my new projects are earning. That's what I'm gonna do. If you're enjoying my videos, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get this YouTube thing working for me so I can 86 that Amazon stuff. That's a joke, kinda. And please consider supporting me on Patreon. But whatever you do, keep making movies.